Hi, welcome to another of my reviews of Ty Lopez's 67 Steps. This is step number 55, the seven habits of highly unsuccessful people and the tardy tree sloth. How to invert your way into what you want. First of all, this will not be a bashing of tree sloths because I love tree sloths. Um, look it up on YouTube. Great. So, this one's all about inversion. To start off with a great quote from Abraham Lincoln, I love this quote. Lincoln supposedly said, I learn from everyone I meet. Usually, I learn what not to do. And that's kind of what this is about. Learning from the mistakes of others and you know there's a lot of people out there helping you with that and that's for sure and again there uh, an, uh, another quote we're quote heavy off the top here uh, the Sherlock Holmes Arthur Conan Doyle quote that once you eliminate the impossible whatever remains no matter how improbable must be the truth so if you want to learn what you should do to get to where you want to go because you know this whole thing is about our the goals you know Ty has these four pillars health wealth love happiness and fulfillment um, you know if you want to get to the good places and all of those maybe it's not about what you should be doing but also what you shouldn't be doing you know is call, and also this helps with what they call optimal stopping, which is, you know, you can't research forever. And the internet is a great thing for people who are anal about researching, you know. You can just go on and on and on and never do anything because you're busy looking. And that's kind of you're looking for what to do, but maybe you should also be looking for what not to do. And maybe one of the things you shouldn't be doing is spending all your time researching. So... But you need some answers, you know? So you have to stop your research at some point. You need some answers. And one of the ways to get good answers is to see what doesn't work. And recently there's been a spate of these uh, great documentaries um, kind of started by uh, Morgan Spurlock with his, you know, if you want to become unhealthy, eat fast food. And that was Super Size Me. And you know, that will really show you if you can watch that and still eat a high level of fast food then there's something mentally wrong with you you know that film shows you that what not to do you know or what to do if you want to become unhealthy you know what to do if you want to go in the wrong direction um, you know if you uh, and Charlie Munger has this quote about what you know if you want to be unsuccessful be lazy and unreliable you know um, if you're well if you're lazy you probably don't do anything anyway if you're unreliable unreliable is a surprising killer of success in business you know if you don't keep on improving your business if you don't keep on advertising working treating your customers right if you you know stop and start stop and start your website's available not available you're doing the same kind of thing you might as well shut your business every once in a while you have to have some kind of reliability you know um, you gotta open your doors every day or people have to know when your doors are open let's put it that way and you know if you want to if you want to have a bad relationship well don't trust the other person and don't communicate with the other person you know that'll kill it pretty fast uh, you know so you can look at these negative ways and say ah okay well if I if I can kill a relationship by not trusting and not communicating then ergo if I trust and communicate, maybe my relationship will be good. If I can kill my business by being lazy and unreliable, maybe if I am diligent and reliable and cons or consistent, uh, maybe my business will have a, a chance. You know, if uh, you want to become unhealthy, if I, you, you know, you can become unhealthy by eating fast food. Maybe if I stop eating fast food and eat healthy food, then I'll become healthy. You know. Um, it's a bit simplistic. I know it's a bit simplistic. I, I know I didn't make these up. Ty Lopez did. But, you know, I, I think there is something to it. Inversion is a valuable tool, you know. Uh, you should know what doesn't work. 
um, you know, and Ty kind of goes off on something else, you know, talking about Sigmund Freud and his, uh, uh, you know, knowing your basic types, knowing what type you are, knowing what's good for you. That's very important as well. You can do that by trial and error, I guess, and you can know what's not good for you. You know, you should know how much sleep you need, things like this. So, um, you know, you have to know yourself and know the outcome you want and then use inversion as a tool to get there, you know. That's really it. Short one. How's that? Um, that's step 55. Uh, seven habits of highly unsuccessful people. Of course, he didn't give us seven habits. Just talked about unsuccessful people. And his questions, I think I missed this one. I didn't quite understand what happened at the end here. Um, his questions, I only got one question. Normally, he and he said there was three, but maybe it was compound question. And that is, what will not get you healthy, wealthy, love, and happiness for you based on your personality type? In other words, what doesn't work for you? You know, uh for business you know what how do you like to work how do you work best you know and how how, how don't you work best i mean for me working on minutia without knowing the big picture i can't do it because i can't my brain doesn't work like that maybe i'm not such a good technician i need to know the overall outcome you know for health you know what will make you sicker obviously eating crap food and not exercising but some people are not good with certain kinds of exercise so what's a bad exercise for you know what's a bad exercise for you you know know what's a bad medicine for you what are you allergic to um so those kinds of things so what will not get you to your goals in health wealth love and fulfillment so think about that and we'll see you soon for step 56 thanks so much for watching subscribe would be good uh, we're coming to the end of this, and then I have another series lined up after this one. So we'll see you then. Okay, thanks. Bye.